RCDIY. Stay safe and have fun. Welcome to another video from RCDIY.ca. This video will cover using an electric brushless motor RPM sensor with OpenTX. It is also accompanied by separate detailed documentation. Please read the documentation for details on what I will be showing you. A link to the documentation will be placed in the description below this video. To use this RPM sensor, determine the number of magnetic poles on the motor. The motor being used is an NT8006 2280KV by Emacs. The Emacs website lists the framework specification as 12N14P. This means it has 14 magnets, which is 7 pole pairs. This number 7 will be used to configure the sensor in OpenTX. Also note the KV of the motor, which is 2280. This number will be used to verify the RPM measurements. The RPM sensor does its measurements by sensing the voltage on any two of the three motor wires. The sensor sends its measurements using the S port to the receiver. Connect the sensor and remove the propeller. Power on the receiver with the throttle all the way down. Observe the LED that flashes on the sensor. Only the zero LED shown here should flash. This is usually the default setting for the sensor. On the transmitter, press menu. Long press page. Scroll down to discover new sensors. Select it and press enter. New sensors will be discovered. Select stop discovery and press enter. Scroll up and select the RPM sensor. Long press enter. Select edit and press enter. Scroll down and select blades and press enter. Select the number 7. Press enter. With the propeller removed, increase the throttle. Observe the RPM values changing as the throttle changes. The RPM sensor over here is reading 7,878 RPM. Using a laser tachometer, we get 7,878 as well. Another way to verify the RPM sensor reading is to use the battery voltage and motor KV number. Increase throttle to maximum. Note the RPM which is 24,458 RPM in this example. Note the battery voltage which is A2 11.3 volts in this example. If A2 is not present, use a voltmeter attached to the battery to get the voltage at the RPM being measured. Multiply the KV with the battery voltage. 2280 times 11.3 equals 25,764 RPM. This is a theoretical number. This theoretical number is close to the sensor RPM that we read. In this example, there is a 5% difference. This brings us to the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, and follow the links below. And as always, stay safe and have fun.